Hi, I'm Terry from Sirius Automotive Training, and welcome again to a wonderful module on Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Safety Inspection. Tonight I wanted to cover some of the topics that we've previously talked about, but we need to get more in-depth on before we can advance into sub-chapters. First off, I'd like to explain the three different categories, classes, or codes for the inspection mechanic. The first one, as stated on my inspection card, number one is for passenger cars, trucks, 17,000 pounds or less, GVW, and a trailer, which is 10,000 pounds or less gross vehicle weight. What's important to understand here is for passenger cars, it's an unlimited gross vehicle weight. Right now, we have passenger cars that are at 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. You could take an, a Hummer H1 four-door sedan, or you could take a four-door wagon. They're rated at 10,000 pounds GVW. These have car plates in Pennsylvania. Number two, motorcycles. Number three, now we go to pure trucks with a 17,000 pound, 17,000 and one pound and higher. Also for trailers, 10,000 and one pound and higher. So these are the three different categories or tests that the mechanics get certified in. When they pursue certification, initially they'll take a baseline test and then for each of these categories they'll also take another test. Along with this they'll take tactile exams for each one of these three categories or codes for their license. It's very simple and of course the schools charge you for each. Same with recertification. You will have to pay an additional fee to add more categories. You could get all four and then you will have a four on your license. Go figure. Also a code J which is on mine, 4J, that is for the Enhanced Vehicle Safety Inspection. This is purely vehicle safety, not the emissions program. The next thing I want to cover is very important. It's the map, the map of Pennsylvania. We have 67 counties. Inside Pennsylvania, we have 42 counties that are not part of the emissions program. As you can see, illustrated in the pink. Schuylkill County up here, so my friends up there in Tamaqua, a shout out to all you guys, great. Great to see you, shouting out to me on YouTube. It's not part of the emissions program in Pennsylvania. So a vehicle that's registered in that county is not required to have an emissions inspection. Next, we'll look at down at Philly. Philly has five counties in the Philadelphia area. They call the Philly Five. Those counties have their own emission inspection categories or types of tests for those vehicles registered there. For Pittsburgh, the four Pittsburgh counties, again, the Pittsburgh region has its own type of testing specific to vehicles registered there. Next, we're going to go up to the northern region. So all of the blue counties coming up from Erie all the way down to Luzerne County have their type of emission inspection. And we'll cover this more when we talk about gross vehicle weights, when we talk about types of vehicles, and when we talk about types of tests. Next, last but not least, is the South Central Lehigh Valley region. They kind of ruined it all for the state because they had way too many new vehicles, so they kind of upset the apple cart here. Because having all those new vehicles allowed them to adapt to a new style of OBD testing, OBD2 testing. So you could see here the Philadelphia, right above the Philadelphia is the South Central Lehigh Valley region. Along with our map, I want to point out something that's pretty important. I always like to talk about our inspection bulletins as it relates to anything we discuss, whether it's a definition, a procedure, or a, or a gross vehicle weight. So right here, I have an inspection bulletin from 8, April of 1999. It's actually from Jim Rohal. If you're in the inspection program all the way back to them, Jim was in charge of all the inspection quality assurance officers and the schools. This has to do with mechanic liability. So I'll read this to you. It states, directly from Jim, an inspection mechanic performing a road test is no longer subject to a traffic citation for operating a vehicle without equipment that is not in compliance with the state law or regulations. 
For example, sunscreening or ornamental light. Although mechanics that are speeding or obviously breaking the law will be cited. So there's a protection for you. It's all the way back from April of 1999. It's a safety inspection bulletin. Really good information I always like to point out to anybody that sits through my classes. Next thing I want to talk about is we, we covered on before the safety inspection or the certificate of inspection sticker. Two different inserts we have in Pennsylvania for the expiration of the certificate inspection. These are the expiration inserts or the tabs. Make sure you don't put these on your mailbox. They're not used for anything else but to indicate their expiration. They're not used to put up prices for your alignment <laughs> or anything else to identify. You could get cited for that. I do have a bulletin on that too, please. So to indicate the difference, they do have an IM on there. What's important is the older stickers, the older inserts had an expiration insert with a slash across it. So you may have some of those sitting around, you could still use them. There was no bulletin put out that said they were no longer valid. So two types of inserts that are used for expiration of your safety inspection. Uh, again, I just wanted to cap, cap out uh, what we covered, the three different types of codes or categories for safety inspection. Again, you do not need a CDL for a Category 3 or a Class 3. You can see right there in black and white. The CDL is going to get you a 26 and over right here, 17,000 pounds between here and that the, the, the car driver's license. You do have that window, so that's where you could inspect certain vehicles medium duty trucks okay um, one last thing I wanted to talk about before we uh, finish out here with some more Van Halen I want to throw a scenario you guys uh, girls out there inspecting vehicles in Pennsylvania it's real important that when you inspect a vehicle you verify ownership the license plate does not verify ownership the license plate verifies a plate and its registration so what's important to remember here is that when you inspect a vehicle that has a multi-purpose passenger plate, for example, a dealer plate, for example, um, salvage plate, repair towing plate, salver plate, these are transferable. They go from vehicle to vehicle. What you need to be aware of, if someone is bringing a vehicle into your facility for an inspection and they're using that plate as proof of ownership, for example, an RT plate, repair towing plate. They hand you the, the insurance card for the vehicle, only for the plate. How do you know where that vehicle came from? How do you know that that vehicle is not a salvage or a junk type? You have no clue. So the plate is not proof of ownership because the junkyard might own the plate or the vehicle. So now you can no longer inspect a junk vehicle with a salvage title. This is why we have reconstruction. So what I'm getting at is if someone's bringing you plates with cars and telling you to inspect their used cars, their customers already have the vehicle, they're driving them, and every time they need an inspection, they bring it back and say, inspect it with my dealer plate. Inspect it with my repair towing plate. Check to see the title because you need to see the vehicle ownership. You're not seeing registration because the, vehicle's the plate is transferable. So a real critical piece of information, I've seen it happen before, and you don't want to get burned on that because it just could be one, <laughs> it could be the quality assurance officer just trying to set you up in Pennsylvania. You don't want that to happen, and obviously you want the vehicle safe, which is more important. Um, any of the other questions, you guys, email me, seriousautotraining at live.com. It's S-E-R-I-U-S. Uh, take advantage of the opportunity while I'm stateside for safety inspection, emission inspection, or any type of automotive training or fire truck training that you would need. Again, Terry Roach with Automotive Training. Thanks.